A giant sized fish weighing 120 kilograms was caught by a fisherman. This fish is so big we can't pick him up. Four grown men cannot pick this fish up. So when you pull up the net and oh that thing is there, what what what's going through your mind? I, I, I don't know. I, I call it. It's crazy. I mean, uh, it's only a, it's an ugly fish. Caught on camera and caught on a hook. Take a look at this massive gator right here. This alligator is more than 13 feet tall. A task as simple as fishing can always turn into a discovery of a lifetime. From strange creatures to mutated anomalies, nature always has a huge surprise waiting in line. We got it! We got it! We got an electric gear! So, let's have a look at what this fisherman captured that no one was supposed to see. In search of the legendary Warsaw grouper, this fisherman embarked on a thrilling voyage. Equipped with supplies, they took on a journey into the depths of the Gulf of Mexico. So we load the boat up, tons of fuel, tons of supplies, six 130s. Casting their lines at Pulley Ridge, they hoped for the best and finally felt a tug of a massive catch. You got him, Jason? Warsaw on? No! Jason, get him, get him, get him! Get him, dude, get him, get him! After a fierce back and forth with the sea monster, they successfully pulled a colossal Warsaw grouper on board. It's almost bigger than the two adult males and weighed around 294 pounds. 294, he was over 300 when we caught him. <laughs> they were elated to finally catch the monster they had always wanted to. Massive swordfish. Yeah, baby! Woo! Woo! That? Yeah! A couple of renowned fishing experts set out to catch the elusive swordfish. They felt the telltale sign of a swordfish on the line. After a battle of tugging, they successfully hoisted the mighty catch aboard and marveled at its sheer size. Yeah, baby! Woo! Woo! How about that? Yeah! yeah! She's bigger than 150. That's, 150 plus all day. That's over 150. High five. Removing the hook from its mouth, they quickly packed up the fish with loads of ice to keep it fresh. And other came back too. When on the ground, they weighed the fish to be around 182 pounds. 182.5. Yo guys, now my question is, be honest, who said 182.5? Then finally, they took the fish home for a huge feast. My first time ever eating fresh swordfish too. Crying Fish Mystery. <laughs> Years back, this clip of a fish crying like a baby in China became the talk of the town. Everyone wanted to know more about it. Many people speculated that a new species had been discovered, while others believed it was a cursed fish bound to bring bad luck. But the mystery was soon solved when someone revealed that it wasn't a fish in the first place, but a Chinese salamander that can make noises that sound like a baby crying. Interestingly, they are also named baby fish due to their specific sounds. <laughs> Fishy mystery. <laughs> Fishing can bring a lot of surprises, just like this one, where two young fishermen from the Philippines found a very odd fish. <laughs> While fishing in a swamp, one of them found a lone, pale fish lying in the water. The motionless fish seemed to have passed away. When he picked it up, a long body emerged, and the guys revealed that it was an eel. Monster eel, guys, monster eel. And the water was filled with them. They picked them all up with ease. Along with the eel, they also caught other small fish and took their stash back home to enjoy. Wolffish. Oh my god, Jacob! They were not joking! A group of friends out on a fishing expedition got their hands on something very strange. A massive wolf fish. So my brother-in-law just caught this wolf fish and we were going by him, so we stopped over to check it out. They are better known for their size and being ruthless biters. Their soda can biting clips had made several rounds on the internet, so one of the guys wanted to test it himself. We're gonna see what he can do to a soda can. As they brought the can to its mouth, the fish instantly 
suddenly latched onto it and left it in pieces. <laughs> it exploded! <laughs> oh my way! After appreciating the ferocious fish, they decided to let it go back into the water. Malabar Grouper. See the guy. This group of friends out on a fishing trip had their sights set on a legendary 100 pound Malabar Grouper. Even after having failed attempts in the past, they wanted to try again, and this time, their hard work had paid off, and they were successful in securing the remarkable catch. <laughs> they worked hard to pull the giant fish onto the boat, and the fish was a dream come true for them. <laughs> <laughs> they checked the black spot rock cod and were just delighted to finally check it off their bucket list. <laughs> Amazon eel. We got it! We got it! We got electric eel! We got electric eel! Brady Barr, a famous host and herpetologist, set out on a mission with local fishermen to capture an electric eel. They carefully laid their nets near the eel's hiding spot. We know there's an electric eel in this hole, so we've quickly looped our net all the way around the hole. After some time, they suddenly felt a ripple in the water, signaling the eel's approach. Excited for the awaited catch, Brady moved in to capture it. But as he reached out, the eel struck, sending a shock through his body. Ah, ah, oh! Yeah, I felt it! I felt it! Yes, he's there! He's right over there! He's right over there! But he persisted, determined to catch the sneaky fish. After struggling for a bit, they finally caught the elusive eel. We got it! We got it! We got an electric eel! We got an electric eel! Double Trouble Fish. A fisherman in Houston got way more than he expected when his fishing line reeled in the most surprising catch. He pulled that that fish with a big ass snake wrapped around it. Expecting to find a fish, he came face to face with a snake wrapped around the fish and its teeth sunk deep into the fish's body. It seemed to have no plans of letting go. Struck by the sight in front of him, he decided to let the thought of fish dinner go and helped the stuck animals. He pried them apart and set them free in the creek. So much for a decent fishing trip. Dragonfish. These two guys were out in Okinawa, Japan, hunting for a very special kind of fish, a dragonfish. For dragonfish here, we're just gonna drop it down to the bottom. We're in 190 meters of water right now. Said to live in the depths of the sea, catching them required special techniques. After setting up their rod, they waited for the tug on their line. And they finally caught a load of silvery steel blue fish. Their appearance was similar to a dragon, with razor-sharp teeth and long, slender shape, complete with barbed fins all along their body. Enjoyed as a culinary delicacy in Japan, their appearance is also considered similar to a samurai sword. Eyeless Fish in a village pond near Rybinsk swims a black mutant Crucian carp. Instead of eyes, the fish has a true hole. The mutant lives in the pond on the retiree Mikhail Pavlyukov's property. A fisherman from Rybinsk, Russia, came forward with a very bizarre discovery that made everyone skeptical of mysterious occurrences in the region. The fish he caught in his pond was a Crucian carp that didn't have eyes. Three days ago to see what kind of fish it was, and it turned out to be eyeless. No eyes. There were two gaping holes in place of the eyes, and its wiggling mouth indicated that it was very much alive. But how was it surviving without its most important organ? The occurrence of such an unusual mutation was unheard of in a domestic setting, which made it all the more strange. Locals speculated that unhealthy conditions of the region could be a reason for the fish's unfortunate condition. Short-nosed Sturgeon Fish with two mouths gulping up air like water. The fish had a snout with another mouth on the underside of its body. The guy who caught it was left baffled by its strange mouth. Damn, how do you feel? Feel good, man. 
<laughs> Seeking information on his catch, someone finally said that it was a short-nosed sturgeon. Their strange mouths are their distinctive feature, and the reason why everyone was shocked to see it was that it's an endangered species, and it's not a common occurrence to catch them. Help in Disguise Oh man, look at this giant grouper. A group of fishermen cruising through the water noticed something strange in the distance. When they got closer, they found that it was a huge fish floating on the surface. Oh, he's all blown up. Oh man, that's crazy. Wow. They realized that it was a grouper that was suffering from a condition called barotrauma, where the fish's entire body swells after rapidly coming up from the depths. One of them took the distressed creature in his fishing net, but to help it. He tried to help by poking a hole in its swim bladder to release some of the gas, so that it could go back to its deep habitat. There we go. There we go. We got him. Uh, there he goes. All right. Yeah. And as soon as some of the pressure was released, the fish easily took the plunge back home. Uh, there he goes. All right. Yeah. You see the air coming out? Yeah. There he goes. Frenzied sharks. Imagine being this close to an entire horde of sharks. One wrong move, and it's farewell for you. But don't worry, this guy is pretty safe. He's just feeding the sharks with bare hands. It's pretty common for caretakers to feed these giants from up close, but this guy seemed too comfortable around them. They moved up the stand to snatch up the food, looking like they'd just jump on the guy any second. Fortunately, the guy remained safe throughout the feeding frenzy of these sharks. Two-mouthed fish. Oh, toy, die, towel away. Back in 2017, a mutant fish was caught by a fisherman with its two mouths and four eyes. The fish was something the man had never seen before. The short clip went viral, and the fish went by the name of the Chernobyl fish, due to speculations about the involvement of toxic matter in the lake from which it was pulled. But nothing about the odd-looking fish was said for sure. Lancet fish. This dragon-like fish is actually a Twilight Zone creature known as the Lancet Fish and was found in Laguna Beach, California. Famous for their snail-like fins and long, slithery bodies, they are notorious for being cannibals, meaning they prey on their own kind. And what adds to their eerie existence is that these deep-sea creatures have been washing ashore for the past 300 years, but no one seems to know why they do this. One of the theories states that they accidentally get too close to the shoreline while chasing their prey, but due to their exclusive habitat, there aren't many. Crabby Encounter While enjoying his kayaking trip, something very strange ended up on this guy's boat. The mysterious creature stuck to the boat and had sharp, spine-like limbs. When the guy pulled ashore, the creature flipped, and he realized that it was a horseshoe crab. Even though they are named crabs, they're not that. Instead, they're closely related to arachnids and spiders. With their thick limbs completely covered with their shell, they almost look like moving shields on the ground. But the good news is they are completely harmless to humans, as they do not bite, and their claws have a weak grip. So no, they're not dangerous. Salmon Catch After seeing this clip, you'd probably think how our oceans aren't emptied yet. The number of fish they just caught in one go was huge. Leaving the fishing net to gather fish overnight, they pulled the nets brimming to the top with fish. That's just how professional trawlers work. Now, all this salmon will end up in your grocery stores. Here's another clip where these fish seem to have accepted their fate of getting caught. The anglers were shocked to see countless numbers of fish swimming near the boats, which appeared eerily still. People on the internet speculated that they were probably a swarm of sardines that had lost their way and got stuck on the surface. Faceless Fish and they've put them on show, including one extraordinary fish that doesn't appear to have a face. This group's weekend fishing trip to Thailand turned upside down, while the fish they caught left them baffled. 
A monstrous fish with razor-sharp teeth, a long body, and an unusually large head. Experts were unable to identify the species of the fish. Its body resembled an eel, but even experienced fishermen had never seen anything like that before. Its pale appearance showed that it was an albino, further intriguing those who encountered it. With their curiosity running wild, the fishermen decided not to consume it and to just keep it to themselves. Fangtooth Fish Deep sea fishermen captured footage of bizarre creatures in Murmansk, Russia. The guy identified the otherworldly creature as a big eyed Macrorus, a type of rat tail fish with an unnaturally large head. These creatures inhabit depths ranging from 660 feet to 9,800 feet underwater in the North and South Atlantic waters. This discovery showed the otherworldly nature and mysteries of marine life. Whale Meal This group of professional trawlers was left with their mouths hanging open when a couple of marine giants decided to have a taste of their catch. Two blue whales appeared out of nowhere and swallowed whatever was collected in the nets of the fishermen. These largest animals on our planet can eat up to four tons of fish in a day. And can we talk about that mouthful? A mouth this big is bound to get all the food. And it's true, they can take in more food in one mouthful than any other animal on Earth. Jellyfishing If you've ever wondered what pro jellyfish fishing looks like, well, this is it. See how this guy is catching every one of them, using only a pitchfork to get a hold of the transparent fish in water. And he isn't missing any of them. The way he had filled his boat is proof enough. Now, I think SpongeBob needs to take lessons from this guy. Blackfish. Out on the open sea, these Indian fishermen felt a tug on their lines and couldn't believe their eyes at what their bait had got them. A mysterious giant black fish. As they pulled it on their boat, they found that it was a black sailfish. Its huge distinctive dorsal fin gave it away. <laughs> They pulled their remarkable catch aside and went on with their expedition. Not only that, they also caught a bunch of kingfish, <laughs> using only a long metal rod. These experts sure know their way around the water. It was another successful day with loads of exceptional catches. <laughs> Blue Mahi Mahi Fish. Turn around. No, no. Oh, wow, that side's prettier. This guy joyously showing off his catch had caught the one and only blue mahi mahi fish, also known as the dolphin fish. Oh. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Its habitat is so elusive that it's super rare to catch one of these spectacularly colorful fish. Experts believe it's impossible that they could have evolved by accident, meaning this species are one of a kind. Look how it seemed green inside the water and appeared all glowing neon blue and yellow with a sparkle of gold outside the water. <sighs> Juvenile paddlefish. This is what I think it is. Dude. Check it out. out on a fishing adventure, this guy came across something bizarre. While explaining his catch and experience, he noticed that there was something lying on the water surface near his boat. Going ahead, he picked it up, and it turned out to be a lifeless young paddlefish. Oh my god, Bob. Shocked by his find, he examined it and found a paddle mark of a boat across its body. They filled their feet on the surface, yeah. and it got hit by a prop and taken out probably the reason for its demise. Not wanting to keep the deceased fish on board, he left it back in the water and went ahead with his journey. It's really crazy, I'm gonna throw this away. Wow. Goblin Shark. This fisherman seemed to have caught something very strange on his venture to the sea. An enormous creature with a mouth just as big. And it turned out to be a unique deep sea shark known as the Goblin Shark. Just one look at its devilish teeth was enough to terrify anyone. Its most notable feature was its unusual head shape and a long beak-like snout with its extra skin-packed mouth on the underside of its head. And if you're wondering how its mouth works, well, that's how. Its mouth has this extension that lets it further grab its prey. Once you're a goblin shark's target, you've got nowhere to hide. 
mutant fish. Yeah, we're just finesse fishermen. So a simple hook, a simple line, and just some bread. Now, have a look at what this guy caught at a creek somewhere in the US, a Mayan kitchlet, an invasive species in South Florida. But it isn't the invasive part that made this fish up, but what's going on on the side of its head? So I don't know if that's a parasite, or if that's a tumor. Is that a parasite, a tumor, or a mutation? No one seemed to know the accurate answer. The other fish he caught were all pretty good. It was the only one with that strange bulbous stuff growing out of its head. People suggested that it was probably the result of a giant fish attack, while others sided with the mutation theory. Laps over. Yo. Unidentified fish. <laughs> Seeing this clip, you'd probably think, how did that bat get caught on a fishing line? Well, that's just one of the many jaw-dropping ocean creatures the murky waters have to offer. Caught by a fisherman from a river in Thailand, it had an oddly flat body with two big hind legs, two tiny forelimbs, a big tail, along with a pointy face. Its appearance was as incomparable as any regular fish. Speculations arise that it was either a new species of aquatic animal, or it was a mutated toad. But someone finally cleared up the confusion, and it turned out to be a Brazilian batfish. To compensate them for being poor swimmers, nature has given them limbs like pectorals and pelvic fins to walk on the river's bottom. Out of water. Thinking of dangerous wild animals, beasts like lions and snakes come to mind. But there was something else entirely terrorizing the locals of a town in Tomsk, Russia. An aquatic monster. A wolf fish. Even out of its natural habitat, it was still very fierce. Feared for their sharp teeth, they don't hesitate before attacking their enemy. And this one was doing just that, attacking and biting people in the town. The locals were somehow able to get a hold of it. See how wide it was able to open its mouth. These guys had some guts to confront this after being eyewitnesses to the terror that they can bring. You wouldn't find me within 20 feet of that monster. Giant catfish. This family was out on a beach day trip with a sight of fishing. But the fishing part got a little out of hand when they caught this monster of a fish. Reeling in their line, they found a giant catfish on the other end. Once ashore, it thrashed around to be set free. But one of the guys was finally able to control it and unhook its mouth. They only wanted to have the experience of catching the fish, so they decided to set it free, and it safely went back to its home. Ocean's Thresher Fishing is considered one of the most rewarding outdoor hobbies. Never knowing what new creature could turn up keeps you on edge. Like these fishermen, who unknowingly caught a marine creature with a huge tail. And as soon as it was on board, it used that flappy tail to writhe around. No one was able to come within a foot of the shark as it threshed its tail vigorously. And the guys noticed that it was a thresher shark. Well, I don't think I need to say why it's called that. It seemed pretty determined to dive back into the water. I hope it found its way back. Humboldt Squid Ever heard of the Humboldt Squid? Well, this is what it looks like. A big slimy body with huge googly eyes. The fisherman who caught it showed off his catch, showing off its beak. Yeah, a beak! A squid who's got a beak and uses it to chop up its prey to pieces. <laughs> Being cephalopods, they can change their body colors. But what's utterly interesting about that is, when they are distressed, their entire body takes on a bright red hue. And due to this color, they're also called red devils. Here, Jeremy Wade, a biologist and freshwater detective, has caught the same Humboldt squid. These bizarre looking predators are like something out of a horror movie. Its red color indicates its state of stress. After analyzing the animal for a while, he let them go back into the water. Quite an impressive beast. Going back. Jumpy fishing. 
Who has the skills to possibly survive the apocalypse? This guy. He just saw a big fish in the stream and not thinking twice, he just jumped to catch it. And surprisingly, he succeeded. The fish wiggled to get out of the guy's hold, but he skillfully kept it in place. Gotta admire the guy for catching the fish with his bare hands. Frantic Monster. Out on a kayaking trip, this guy didn't know he was in for a scary surprise. While recording his journey, he noticed that there was some creature underwater near his boat. Just as it touched the boat, chaos ensued. The man found himself surrounded by thrashing all around the river. It was like an entire herd of creatures that had been woken up. Many people on the internet came forward trying to speculate its identity. Some said it was a river monster, but someone gave a more believable explanation, saying it was nothing more than a group of manatees. And that's exactly how they react when they feel threatened. Surprise Fish This guy's fishing trip went a little off the rails. Hoping to catch loads of fish, he struggled to pull a giant fish on the boat. After finally being able to get a hold of the fish, he was baffled to see the sheer size of it and lost his footing for a bit. He probably knew the fish was big, but he hadn't thought it would be this big. It was only later that he realized that he had caught a massive swordfish. This fish is highly elusive, so catching it out of the blue was strange. Stuck hand. Now, let's have a look at what you should never do when you come across a monkfish. Don't put your hand in its mouth. This guy was either out of his senses or just overly brave. He put his entire fist in the open mouth of the monkfish. At first, it didn't bite, but the guy wanted to learn the hard way and tried again. And this time was the charm. That fish closed its mouth tightly around his hand and wouldn't let go. Thankfully, there was another guy there who helped him get his hand rid of the fish's hold. Otherwise, oh, it wouldn't have ended well for him. <laughs> Bug Eye Fish. What the heck is this thing? That's called a palm print? Ever seen a fish so weird and strange you had to do a double or maybe even a triple take? Something like this was caught by these men in the middle of the ocean. They had caught this giant fish and what was anomalous about it was its eyes. It's a big, bulging eye. They had never seen a fish like this before. But guys, look at his eyeball. Look at his eyeball. People speculated that it was a pomfret fish, and these huge eyes were probably caused by a mutation. But another theory stated that it might be due to a special condition called dropsy, where a fish's body swells, and it has caused its eyes to bulge like that. I'm gonna flip this fish over. Look at his eyeball, you see that? Cubera Snapper. This is my good buddy Jamie. He invited Bricky and I to come fish with him in Mexico. A group of friends went out on a fishing expedition and got their hands on a monstrosity. They reeled in their line when they felt a tug and expected to find a regular catch. They weren't ready for it when they caught sight of this giant near their boat. Hooking it to their rod, they rushed to pull it onto the boat. Seeing its sharp teeth, Vibrant eyes and huge size. They were sure they'd caught the Cubero Snapper, one of the most sought after game fish. <laughs> Weighing around 48 pounds, the guys showed off their catch to the camera and took it with them to enjoy later. It was a big piece and it's not dry at all. It feels good. Gator on the line. During a serene fishing trip of a father-daughter duo in Louisiana, their excitement turned to shock when they reeled in something unexpected, a massive alligator. Oh my God, that's a big ass gator, buddy. The father on the kayak was waiting for something to take its bait and he pulled in the line after feeling a tug. Well, that quickly became an unforgettable encounter with one of nature's most impressive creatures. Suddenly seeing the beast, the man was shocked. He left instantly, threw his fishing equipment, and rode furiously to get away from the gator. Counter that uh, we'll probably never forget. Catfishing. Y'all are not gonna believe what is swimming towards our boat. Fishing in huge water bodies, you really gotta expect the unexpected. While casting their lines in an Alabama river, 
two fishermen noticed something swimming toward their boat, thinking that it was their lucky day, and the fish was coming toward them itself. They were surprised to see a tiny kitten swimming towards their boat. Concerned for its well-being, they pulled up the furry swimmer and ensured that it was safe. Never in my life I've seen anything like that. The incident turned their fishing trip into a rescue mission and showed how sometimes the most unexpected catches aren't fish at all. Well, it's the first time for everything, isn't it? Eel hunting. Just me here again, me and Chad. A fisherman equipped with a fishing net was out on the hunt for an eel when he caught something bizarre. Thinking he had finally got the catch, he pulled the net out of the water and found a giant serpent tangled in there. See how long that is. The snake left dangling and started coiling around a tree branch. They do look kind of similar, but a huge snake for an eel, not what was expected. Grouper's prey. <laughs> During a fishing trip in the sea, this guy was excited about catching some fish. But when his line caught its first prey, his joy was short-lived, as another predator was eyeing his catch. Suddenly, a few splashes emerged, and the fish on his hook was gone, and all he saw was a giant fish on the surface showing its win. So naturally, to see who caught his fish, he put on his diving gear and got in there and was shocked to see the infamous Atlantic Goliath grouper just chilling there. These giants can grow up to and can feed on anything when hungry. Even humans have given the chance. I don't think the guy minded this massive fish taking away his catch after knowing that fact. Open discussion. This picture of a fish caught by an angler going viral was captured when a group of fishermen decided to explore a river in Colombia. Their fishing line hooked the strangest looking fish they'd ever seen. A pale, medium-sized fish with feathers and spines all over its body. Everyone on the boat was left shocked by the bizarre sight in front of them. It looked like a mix of much different fish with features of spiny pleco and fins like an axolotl. This is the weirdest fish. I have seen in my life. It was a total mystery. Even people on the internet were left questioning what this fishy creature was. But no one seemed to know any answers. Some even said that it might be a mutated fish and polluted waters were to blame. All right, that is the weirdest fish I've ever caught in my life and it was tangled up in my brain. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like it and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.